My name is Louis Ramos, and we're going to be taking a look at some pitching mechanics and some drills to help you be more explosive and finally tune those pitching mechanics. Let's get started. Now this is Josh Williams, and he's going to be going from the stretch. The first thing you notice is that all his momentum is heading towards his target. His shoulders, his glove, his hips, and his legs all aim towards the target keeping his head and eyes heading towards the catcher. This can be broken down into three parts. First is the balance point. Second is the stride. And third is what I like to call whip the hips. In breaking this down, it is important to point out that you want to use all your body parts in building velocity. Now, looking at the balance point, you're going to see that Josh has his back leg straight where he's putting all his weight on that back leg. Breaking into his stride, he goes towards the plate and whips the hips through. The back leg will then come up to the height of his head. Looking at it from a hitter's point of view, you're going to see the stride come forward, his glove come out and be tucked in, and the whips will come through the zone. With the hips coming through, you'll see that back leg once again reaching the height of his head. This is where you want that back leg to be. In focusing on these three components, we do a drill called the toe tap. The toe tap drill consists of working on the stride, building the balance point, and whipping the hips through. The toe tap consists of three touches into the stride and then going into the pitch. When going into the pitch, you'll see that the pitcher leaves with the glove. This brings us into the glove tuck. The glove tuck is done by leading with the glove and bringing it right back into the armpit. In bringing it back into the armpit, it allows the shoulders to be squared and the throwing arm to come through the zone. This allows the shoulders to be level and allows for the correct accuracy to occur. Now taking a look at the back leg, this is what we like to call the laces down. Laces down means you throw your back leg into the ground, bringing the hips through. Once again, we're focusing on whipping the hips. This allows for the trunk rotation to occur and maximum velocity be generated with your legs. Whip those hips. That a boy. This is the ball pickup. It's a balance drill designed to keep your back leg strong and keep you balanced going into your stride. The key here is to bend over and pick up the ball and go right back into your stride. Notice how the ball goes back into the glove and he bends back over, keeping his balance throughout the whole movement. Do about 10 to 15 of these to work on your balance. Josh did a great job here. This is a medicine ball toss from the stretch. The key here is to still use your high leg kick while still pushing off with your back leg in the motion of throwing the medicine ball. Notice how he's still going to the leg kick and is still pushing off. Now these attempts here, he's not going to as high as leg kick. You still want to go with your natural kick. The use of the back legs will help you train and build more explosiveness out of the stretch. Now let's take a look at some tubing exercises. The tubing exercises are going to work on the outer rotator cuff, the inner, the front, and the back part of the rotator. These exercises here work on abducting and adducting the rotator cuff while still balancing the elbow. These rotator cuff exercises work the back of the rotator cuff. You want to try to get your elbow as close as to 90 degrees as you can. As you can see in this exercise, Josh is still clinching that left arm like a glove tuck. That's great form and keeps his shoulders squared. Now in working the front part of the rotator cuff, you want to assume the similar position but pull the cord back. You still want to tuck your glove with that left arm 
and keep your arm at a 90 degree angle. Now you can also assume the quarterback position where you start with the cord in front of you and pull it back. This is perfect to practice getting the ball out for pickoff moves. Great resistance is used here and really builds that quickness and strength. In this last one, we add a leg kick, a stride, and as well as a glove tuck with the band to add resistance. This will allow you to work on mechanics and still work on your rotator cuff strength. Notice how he still continues to lead towards his target and tuck his glove in. Adding the band will add the resistance and that will work the full cup of the rotator cuff.